Welcome, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us tonight for this year's celebration of the anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This year's celebration may look a little bit different than past years, but it'll be no less impactful or important. I'm Sarah Raskin, one of the two former co-chairs of the West Hartford Human Rights Commission, and I'm here with Barry Walters, the other former co-chair. And we're very excited tonight to be able to introduce you to our two new co-chairs of the West Hartford Human Rights Commission, Adrian Billings-Smith and Assam Borai. Hi everyone, my name is Adrian Billings-Smith. Thank you, Sarah, for that lovely introduction. The West Hartford Human Rights fosters mutual understanding and respect among people and encourages equality of treatment of all people, regardless of race, color, color religious creed, sex, sexual orientation, civil union status, gender identity, or expression, marital status, familial status, genetic information, age, economic status, lawful source of income, national origin or ancestry, veteran status or present or past history of physical, mental, intellectual or learning disability, including but not limited to blindness. Tonight, we have a great keynote speaker, poetry, music and dance from amazingly talented West Hartford folks. Viewing of this program is available on Comcast Channel 5 and Frontier TV Channel 6098. It's also available on www.whctv.org and youtube.com forward slash WCTV5. The West Hartford Human Rights Commission's Sarah Raskin Barry Walters, Hassan Barai, Brian Greenleaf, Don Inis, Krishna Atkari, and Adrian Billings Smith will have the privilege to starting off tonight's event with the preamble to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. We are truly humbled and appreciative of all the time the community members took, took out to help deliver the declaration and a huge thank you to the individuals who are performing tonight. Thank you, stay safe, wear your masks, so we have the chance to join together next year. Greetings, my name is Mitch Ishan, and I'm here to give an acknowledgement to the beautiful land we live in, and that is uh, Quantatuqua, Connecticut River, Long Tidal River, and is dedicated to the river and all the people who lived here prior to colonial occupation, which includes the Wongunk, Quantic, Podunk, and many others who are not named by the federal government, the colonial government, and all those other forces that have uh, been traditionally oppressing us and occupying us. So this is for Quantatuck, our beautiful river.
Whereas December 10th, 1948 is the date of, that the General Assembly of the United Nations approved the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, declaring that recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. And whereas the Universal Declaration of Human Rights calls for all people and government at all levels to promote and respect the rights that it recognizes. And whereas the Town of West Hartford and the West Hartford Human Rights Commission are committed to ensuring the human rights of all West Hartford residents and visitors, protecting them from discrimination and encourages equality of treatment of all people, regardless of race, color, religious creed, sex, sexual orientation, civil union status, gender identity or expression, marital status, familial status, genetic information, age, economic status, lawful source of income, national origin or ancestry, or present or past history of physical, mental, intellectual, or learning disability. And whereas 2020 is the 72nd anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the opportunity for the town of West Hartford to commemorate this event and recommit itself to the broader achievement of human rights for all citizens. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed that on behalf of the town council and the residents of West Hartford, I, Mayor Sherry G. Cantor, proclaim December 10th, 2020, Human Rights Day in the town of West Hartford and encourage all residents to work together in the coming year to advancing progress toward fulfilling the full range of human rights contained in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Good evening. It's such a pleasure to be here with you tonight as we celebrate the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. My name is Takesha Dewan Everett and I'm the Executive Director of Health Equity Solutions, a nonprofit located in Hartford with a mission to advance health equity in the state of Connecticut through policy and advocacy. 72 years ago, representatives of the United Nations set forth this declaration of the fundamental rights that are to be protected for every human, regardless of where they live, grow, work, or die. This represents the core rights of our humanity. What a profound time to remind ourselves and to celebrate this important and meaningful declaration. As a race and social justice scholar and a health equity advocate, I can't help but acknowledge the challenging year this has been. The COVID-19 pandemic has shined the light on societal inequities that prevent some people from achieving and maintaining a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of themselves and their family. This year, we've been witness to repeated murders and violence against people at their core related to racial indifference and bias. Actions that should call to question the humanity of the actors, but oftentimes has called into question the humanity of the victims. 2020 has reminded us that not all of us are fully living up to the words of this declaration. It's laid bare some simple truths. In order for us to truly live the meaning of the declaration, we must change. We cannot allow our individual or collective privilege to stand in the way of the human rights of others. We must name and acknowledge the barriers that exist that prevent people from living a full, free, and complete life. Namely, some of those barriers are racism, sexism, heterosexism, xenocentrism, ageism, and ableism, and the list can go on and on. We must acknowledge that if one person's humanity is not honored, then all of us suffer. That black lives taken by the hands of those who are supposed to protect and serve undermine the core of our humanity. That black, indigenous, people of color who are contracting and dying from COVID-19 at disproportionate rates is an indicator of the deep inequities in our town, our state, and our country. The beauty of 2020 is that now we see these truths. We know them. We are talking about these truths. We are increasingly making our understanding better, and it implores us to act. 
we can act to ensure that these truths become a history and that going forward, we have a new narrative, a new narrative that is born from the people who are the humanity we deserve and need to be. Tonight, let us collectively breathe life into the Universal Human Rights Declaration. Let's each commit and recommit to ensuring that all who breathe have rights that we cannot and will not infringe upon. Let's honor the lives senselessly taken in 2020 by creating a society where no one worries about police encounters because of their race and that everyone has the opportunity to attain their optimal health, regardless of their race, gender, or socioeconomic status. There are many who say declarations do not have power or that they are meaningless. But I urge us all to remember that words are powerful and meaningful, that declarations are words placed on paper in agreement by humans, and that we must live up to that which we declare. We put words into action. It is a factor of what makes us human. Tonight, let this be a celebration and a reminder. We've come so far from the 72 years since this has been declared, but we do have a long way to go. Together, we can forge a new path forward after the pandemic, where together we come and see that everyone who lives, everyone who breathes, has the right to live and breathe, regardless of who they are or where they live. I'm so excited to be here with you, and I look forward to hearing the remainder of the declaration. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a exchange student from Portugal. And I'm Emma from Denmark and we are currently staying in the US. And we go to Cornell High School. We represent AFS, the oldest non-profit high school foreign exchange program in the country. And supports the International Day of Human Rights. Our mission is to empower people to become globally engaged citizens by delivering meaningful and intercultural experiences that provide the knowledge and skills needed to help create a more just and peaceful world. We are looking for host families for exchange students next year, volunteers to support them and high school students who want to study abroad in the future. We invite you to check out our website, afsusa.org, for information about all the programs, to check profiles of exchange students, and to start your application. Together, we can continue the work AFS has done since World War I. You can also learn more about what AFS does in West Hartford at waha-afs.org. Thank, Thank you! Tak. Obrigada. Grazie. Gracias. Merci. Gracias. Grazie. Whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Whereas disregard and contempt for human rights has resulted in barbarous acts which has outreached the conscience of mankind and the advent of a world in which human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech and belief and freedom from fear and want has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of a common people. Whereas it is essential if people are not to be compelled to have recourse as a last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, that human rights should be protected by the rule of law. Whereas it is essential to promote the development of friendly relations between nations. Whereas the peoples of the United Nations have in a charter reaffirm their faith in fundamental human rights and the dignity and worth of, human, of the human person and the equal rights of men and women and have determined to promote social progress and better standards of life and a larger freedom. Sadasya Rashtra Rule, Sangyuta Rashtra Sangko, Sahayogle, Manab Adhikar Harura, Maulik Swatantata Haru Prati, Sarvabhyapi Sammani, Ibam Palanagarni Pratigyan Garikoli. 
whereas a common understanding of these rights and freedoms is of the greatest importance for the full realization of this pledge. ولما كانت شعوب الأمم المتحدة قد أكدت في الميثاق من جديد إيمانها بحقوق الإنسان الأساسية وبكرامة الفرد وقدره وبما للرجال والنساء من حقوق متساوية وحزمت أمرها على أن تدفع بالرقي الاجتماعي قدما وأن ترفع مستوى الحياة في جو من الحرية أفزح To the end, that every individual and every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive by teaching and education to promote respect for these rights and freedoms. And by progressive measures, national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance, both among the peoples of member states themselves and among the peoples of territories under their jurisdiction. Hi, I'm going to read a poem called Everything in Our World did not seem to fit. It's by Naomi Shihab Nye. Everything in our world did not seem to fit. Once they started invading us, taking our houses and trees, drawing lines, pushing us into tiny places. It wasn't a bargain or deal or even a real war. To this day, they pretend it was, but it was something else. We were sorry what happened to them, but we had nothing to do with it. You don't think what a little plot of land means till someone takes it and you can't go back. Your feet still want to walk there. Now you are drifting worse than homeless dust, very lost feeling. I cried even to think of our hallway, cool stone passage inside the door. Nothing would fit for years. They came with guns, uniforms, declarations. Life magazine said, it was surprising to find some Arabs still in their homes. Surprising? Where else would we be? Up on the hillsides, conversing with mint and sheep, digging in dirt? Why was someone else's need for a home greater than our own need for our own homes we were already living in? No one has ever been able to explain this sufficiently, but they find a lot of other things to talk about. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tracy Wilson, and I represent the Witness Stones West Hartford Project with the Noah Webster House and West Hartford Historical Society in supporting the International Day of Human Rights, especially Article 4, that no one shall be held in slavery. Our goal is to commemorate the lives of those who were enslaved here and whose names have been lost to history. This year, students are learning about and telling the stories of Dinah the Elder, Dinah the Younger, Liddy, Peleg Knott, Rachel Knott, Sam, Phoebe, Neptune, Jack, Peter, and an unnamed boy. Their stones will be installed in the Old Center Cemetery on Juneteenth, 2021, and will join the 21 stones already in the ground in the Old Center Cemetery. We hope community members will join us in the spring for a five-session virtual class to learn the story of three enslaved people who lived here in the 18th century. You will read primary sources, tell their story, and then amplify the story to the rest of the community. Find us on the Noah Webster House website, where you can also contact me, Tracy Wilson, uh, at the Gmail account listed here. Thank you.
All human beings are free and equal in dignity and in rights, and they are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood and sisterhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of the political, jurisdictional, or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-governing, or under any other limitation of sovereignty. Article 3. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and security of person. Good evening. Article 4, in Ekchi Maya. And in English. Shkarak al. Mahun li poyanam tirich ani ta hunak chik li poyanam malak tish tukwasi tarik in kawil kahel. Ayin drampil sakal chirulich akrab. Which translates to, no one shall be held in slavery or in servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. Article 5. No one shall be subject to torture, cruel, inhumane, degrading treatment or punishment.
Article 6. Everyone has the right to recognition everywhere as an individual under the law. All are equal before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination in violation of this declaration and against any incitement to such discrimination. Article 8. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by the competent national tribunals for acts violating the fundamental rights granted them by constitution or by law. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, detention, or exile. Article 10. Everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public hearing by an independent and impartial tribunal in the determination of their rights and obligations and of any criminal charge against them. Namaste, my name is Donna Groong and I'm from West Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I read in grade 9 at Connard High School. Um, the song I choose for my dance is Azabara Hati Patuki. This song represents my nation where I belong to and also this song represents the love between two people who are far away um, just for maintaining their good lifestyle. Um, this song connects so much because it is from 90s and it is evergreen song the melody the lyrics the music everything is so heartful everything is so touching like it is just so good i hope you love this dance and i hope you love this song um Thank you so much for giving such an opportunity to dance to so my talent to represent my country i'm so thankful for that Thank you for giving an opportunity. Um, thank you so much. Namaste.
charged with a penal offense has the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty according to law in a public trial at which he has had all the guarantees necessary for his defense. Nadie será condenado por actos u omisiones que en el momento de cometerse no fueron delictivos según el derecho nacional o internacional. Nor shall a heavier penalty be imposed than the one that was applicable at the time the penal offense was committed. Niemand darf willkürlichen Eingriffen in sein Privatleben, seine Familie, seine Wohnung und seinen Schriftverkehr oder Beeinträchtigungen seiner Ehre und seines Rufes ausgesetzt werden. Jeder hat Anspruch auf rechtlichen Schutz gegen solche Eingriffe oder Beeinträchtigungen. Article 13.1 Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including their own, and return to their country. Everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. This right may not be invoked in the case of prosecutions genuinely arising from non-political crimes and from acts contrary to the purposes and principles of the United Nations. Article 15, everyone has a right to a nationality. No one shall be deprived of their nationality nor the right to change their nationality.
marriage shall be entered into only with the full and free consent of the intending spouse. המשפחה היא היחידה הבסיסית והטבעית של החברה, וזכאית להגנה של החברה ושל המדינה. Todo el mundo tiene derecho a la propiedad individual y colectivamente. Two, no one shall be arbitrarily deprived of their property. Article 18. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. This right includes freedom to change one's religion or belief, and freedom either alone or in a community with others and in public or private. να εκδηλώσει τη θρησκεία ή την πίστη του στη διδασκαλία, την πρακτική, τη λατρεία και το σεβασμό. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. Everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. Um, so anyway, it's called Broken Free. It's a short one. In a time when life expects the most of me And trying is passing When you're free, the pull of love reveals the way And I have trusted fire and burning in the light of new desire And all the heat between the flames Ignites a deeper sense of what I say Everyone has the right to take part in the government of their country, directly or through freely chosen representatives. Everyone has the right to equal access to public service in their country. Hi, I'm Alex Rodriguez, and I will be reading part of Article 21 in Spanish. La voluntad del pueblo se la base de la autoridad de gobierno. This will shall be by universal and equal suffrage and shall be held by secret vote 
or by equivalent free voting procedures. Toute personne en tant que membre de la société a droit à la sécurité sociale. Ototo ni ju sanjo. Subete jin wa ryodo shi shitsugyo o jiyu ni sentaku shi kohei katsu yuri na ryodo joshi ken o kakuho shi oyobi shitsugyo ni taisuru hougo o ukkeru kenri o yusuru. y a obtener, mediante el esfuerzo nacional y la cooperación internacional, a vida cuenta de la organización y los recursos de cada estado, la satisfacción de los derechos económicos, sociales y culturales, indispensables a su dignidad y al libre desarrollo de su personalidad. Quem trabalha tem direito a uma remuneração equitativa e satisfatória que lhe permita e à sua família uma existência conforme com a dignidade humana e completada, se possível por todos os outros meios de proteção social. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade unions for the protection of their interests. Статья 24. Кожна людина має право на дозвілля та відпочинок, включаючи розумне обмеження робочого дня та періодично оплачувану відпустку. Арбира дам, тама кашты, кием кечени, турак жайды, медициналық тейлену жана азарлық социалдық жақтан тейлену қошып алғанда, өзіні жана үйбілесінің ден соғылығы менен жерғалчылығын қамсыз қылу үшін, зарыл болған тұрмыштық денгелде ұқықту жана жұмышсыз болып қалғанда, оруп, майып болып, жесер қалғанда, Қарғанда әже, өзіне байланышты болбоған себептер менен жан сақты қаражаттарынын әрілғанда, қамсыз болуға ұқықты. And the right to security in the event of unemployment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond their control. Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social privilege. Thank you. 
Toda persona tiene derecho a la educación. La educación debe ser gratuita, al menos en lo concerniente a la instrucción elemental y fundamental. Elementary education shall be compulsory. Technical and professional education shall be equally accessible to all on the basis of merit. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Greetings, I am Rosina Haskins, the Director of Equity Advancement for the West Harvard Public Schools. I am standing inside Bristol Middle School in front of an exhibit that acknowledges the resilience of an African descendant during his enslavement in West Hartford. History remembers him as Bristol. It is an honor to read this part of the Universal Human Rights Declaration. It shall promote understanding, tolerance, and friendship among all nations, racial, or religious groups, and shall further the activities of the United Nations for the maintenance of peace. Article 26, number four. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to their children. Everyone has the right freely to participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the arts, and to share in scientific advancement and its benefits. Everyone has the right to the protection of the moral and material interest resulting from any scientific, literary, or artistic production of which he is the author. Article 28. Everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. Article 29, number one. Everyone has duty to the community in which alone the free and full development of their personality is possible. In the exercise of their rights and freedoms, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recognition. In respect for the rights and freedoms of others and of meeting the just requirements of morality, public order, and the general welfare in a democratic society. Mniejszych praw i wolności nie wolno w żadnym przypadku korzystać w sposób sprzeczny z celami i zasadami organizacji narodów zjednoczonych. I'm Portia Wise Bachman at Bristol Middle School. Article 30. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state group or person any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act aimed at the destruction of any of the rights and freedoms set forth herein. Uh -oh.